welcome to Ripple Down. The gentleman over here is called Chris. Okay. You should have said hello to him in the first of all. Excellent. Right behind you is Ripple Down, though, you have been before. Okay, and that's where you're going to be staying, this wonderful place. This is going to become your home, your little habitat for the week. Okay, and that's going to be great, isn't it? Okay, so you're going to be sharing in the grounds, okay, along with all the other little creatures that live here, the rabbits, the squirrels, the mice and everything. And later on we're going to have a check to uh, see if we see some of them. Okay, so we can keep our eyes on them. But there is one big word that we do need to do, the weather's looking quite good, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, oh, you lucky people. Right, what we need to do is we need to make sure that you get in all nice and safely. And make sure that everything's put away. You go, it's fine. Yeah, it's for your bags. Okay, This is where we get changed from our indoor stuff to our outdoor stuff, or our outdoor stuff to our Stuff. Excellent. So our shoes stay down here till we're ready to go outside. But when we get upstairs and get on pants, guess what we're going to put on our feet? Slippers. Slippers. <laughs> our slippers. So we'll be able to sort anything out. So if you've got tops and you think, I don't know if this is going to be warm before, one of the teachers say, oh, the top's not warm enough, you are cold. All right, we've got spare tops and all them sort of things. So there's nothing at all to worry about, is there? Okay, all you've got to worry about is having a nice time and being friendly with your friends. Okay, right then. We're now going to go upstairs to the lounge. Trying to eat the tiny little creatures that live in the pod. Ones that are too small for you to see, they're trying to eat. Have a look. See what's going on. See what's swimming around. See what you can see in there. Please always be careful that you don't fall them. And what they do is they come up to the surface and they go like this and they get hold of some air. So their legs help them to actually catch some air and when they go under the water they take this air down with them like a scuba diver does. And as they breathe it the air gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So it runs out and they come back to the surface, get some more, go back down again until it runs out. That's why they're called a diving bit. Now they are what we call the top predator in the pond. Yeah, I nearly caught one of them. Fresh oh, one <laughs> Very, very similar, okay? And these are real. This belonged to an animal. As you can see, this animal must have died, okay? And because it's still got a skull on, like a right? it means that it didn't lose the antlers, okay, at the end of the season. It meant that it actually probably died. The whole animal died. And someone would have come across this out in the wild somewhere and picked it up. Wonderful stuff, okay? Really, really good, these are. All right? Useful for all sorts of things. <coughs> you can use them for tools, for making... Or needles, you can use them for hanging, stuff. for hanging stuff on, a lot of people do. Okay, sometimes, let's have a look here, they use them for when they're putting on the end of knives maybe, or this one here which is a steel, okay, as it's called a steel. You can see that where the angle would have been, see that little bit there? That little tip bit there, like that, that would have been there, see the same. Okay, now, we've got all the different materials which we've shown you there, starting off the skin, and then we slowly came to the weaved one, which is what you were doing in year three, okay, where all the different bits of material would come from there. And we'd have used things like string, like this, cord, okay? And this cord would have been made up of nettles or other plants, bark and things like that. And it would have been used for tying things up. 
Now, if you've only got a thin bit, is that going to be very strong? No. no. But to make them stronger, all we need to do, all right, is just flat it. Okay? And then that way you'd end up, okay, making sure that you had a really nice, strong piece of string. You should work out a second one. You know how to win. You know how to win. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to string the show on here. Okay? You go in one side. You go round, in and out, okay? I'm going to say you've probably done this using material, okay? Whereas this is actually using wood, and we do the same. And then we do the same again. Here we go, in, out, in, out, all the way. There we go. Now, once you start getting this, you can start seeing what's happening. We're starting to make what looks like a fence. And these are sometimes known as hurdles, okay? But what we're actually doing is called wobbling. But this is what it looks like, okay? Looks quite good, doesn't it? Alright, and then you get some clay squished in there, alright, and then you'll be all nice and done. Okay? Yes? That looks like bricks. It does look like bricks, and that's exactly what we've done now. We've started, okay, later on, we started using bricks which are harder than wood, and harder than clay, and what I Let's see if I can take this apart. Do you think I can take this apart? It took me a long time to put it together and I, don't, I just want to do this nice and carefully. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Ready? Chapter yeah. three. One, two, three. Whoa! Oh, that's what it was. Who's in a hayloft? We made that into like a little round of hay. Yeah. 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 Each group will have seven poles like this, okay? You'll also have some cord, like this. Okay. And the cord is going to be used for tying these poles together. Can you bring the two ends together, please? That's it. That's it at the top. So I can cross them there. There we go. Just hold them there. So let me have a look here. So if I put the string around, like so, what I do need to do is I just need to put a bit of a knot in it, which is a little bit like, this is known as a, does anybody know? Not a hut. Not a a tri? A triangle. Tripod, well done, a tripod, okay? So we've got that nice. And we can move these out. Oh, thank you. And we are going to put some of these, like, almost like animal skin size, okay? On the shelter itself. Like that. Okay, now this is quite hard, but you need to work on this. Now, the, the, what we're going to tie these on with is the little bit of orange string. Mm -hmm. Alright? So that will tie on there, and they can tie another bit on down here. Well done, Samuel. You won't get wet. You pull it up. You've done it wrong. Yeah, where the tree is. I'll do it. I need to do one, one more. more. What? This one is adding to the pile. Right. Uh, <laughs> cheese! 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 You're drying here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no holes. Not as easy as you thought, maybe, is it? No. Okay, not quite as perfect as you think, but believe it or not, it's there to do a job, and the job is to make sure that you stay reasonably dry. Get you out of the wind, get you out of the rain, and I think you did that.